Hi, it's Mnod, and today I want to show you something really interesting. And this is in JavaScript. I want to show you how you can pass uh, uh, callback functions with arguments. Now, you might have seen this say, in JavaScript libraries where you have to pass in a callback function. But in most cases, you pass a, a callback that doesn't have uh, uh, that doesn't have call, that doesn't have arguments and it's really okay but uh, but when you ever try to pass a callback function that has gotten arguments you actually fall into some trouble you begin to see unexpected results so today i want to clear that so you get to understand how you can use callback functions with arguments right so i have my two files here app.js and index.js index.html I beg your pardon and under index.html I have gone ahead and referenced the app.js file here so we'll be able to actually view it in our browser in the browser console here so let's go ahead and write our very first code um, we'll go ahead and create a function uh, we assume probably this is a reusable function that takes a callback a callback function all right let's get writing so we'll go ahead and call this function uh, let's call it listener assuming this function takes two arguments maybe the first argument is to to check if you want to run the callback or not this might not be the real case but i'm just trying to bring out an example of how you might want to use a callback function with an argument so uh, this listener function takes two arguments the first argument will be proceed and then the last argument is actually the callback itself now the proceed is actually a boolean you actually get to pass in a true or false when you want the function to run the callback function to run you pass in a true and if you don't want a callback to run, you pass in a false, just as easy as that. So we'll check here. Uh, we'll check to see what we have under proceed. And if it is true, we go ahead and call our callback function. Just as easy as that. We actually invoke it. Invoke the callback function. And maybe that's all we have for our reusable function now let's go ahead and try to call this uh, while passing in our callback function and see go ahead and create a variable call it my callback function call it just a simple function and all it does is to console it logs a it logs a message so let's make it as easy as hello world so this is the callback actually will be this is the callback function will be passing into our function when we are invoking it. So we'll go ahead and call our listener function and pass in. Our very first argument is true or false are boolean. So we we'll try passing in true and then pass in our callback function. The callback function. So we'll try running this and see sorry about that so try running this and we we'll see how it works good it works and uh, even when we don't want this to run we can pass in false and when we try to refresh we see nothing so it works now here we have an interesting scenario how about if you ever want to pass in actually an argument here maybe say like a message we want it to be reusable and this message actually gets gets logged right from here you see so you probably want to do something like this you call the the the, 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 the callback itself and pass in an argument like hello world you notice when you when you run this surprise surprise it's the the function is actually getting invoked 
you see even when we have a false here still the function looks like it has been invoked so when you, we get to look at this when we pass parentheses when you add parentheses to a callback function what happens is that it actually gets invoked right there that's why we have this that's why we have hello world even before rather even when we have a false here we don't want this callback to run and it looks like it has already been invoked so how do you deal with such a situation when you don't want this to be invoked right from here i'll go ahead and um, the solution is to create a func what, what i would call like a, a callback wrapper that wraps your callback and then returns the function we'll go ahead and write this maybe you'll be able to understand it so we'll go ahead and uh, create we'll go ahead and turn this into a function let's just go ahead and call it something like um, callback wrapper so it takes a message so instead of logging it right from here what we'll do is we'll make this function to return to return another function you understand this so what actually happens is that instead of uh, instead of how we did it earlier on we are going to call this function and pass in our message and our message will and our message will instead be passed into this returned function which will be invoked right here so so that we minimize calling the invoking the mess the, the callback message right from here so we'll go ahead and create our our variable just as we did earlier my callback function and we call that callback wrapper sorry callback wrapper good and then within this callback wrapper is where we pass in our message we say hello world good and then it's this callback that we pass into this listener now here when we try running this you notice now it's not invoked it's until when we turn this to true that we actually get our callback function invoked just from our from our upper call our, our upper listener function up here so when we run this we get the results so that's how we actually get to pass callback functions with arguments in javascript create a f what would look like a callback wrapper and then inside it actually get return the function that will be supplied in this spot as a callback as a callback function so that's it that's how we actually pass arguments in callback functions in javascript thanks for watching see you later